Nanotubes are a hot topic in the world of nanotechnology, but what are they? Let's start by analysing the word nanotube. Nano comes from the Greek for dwarf, and as a prefix means a thousandth of a millionth, that is 0.000000001. That is very, very tiny. Tube is a cylinder, everyone knows what a tube is. So a carbon nanotube is a very, very tiny cylinder, a tube-shaped molecule made of carbon. If you look at the black mineral in the core of a pencil, it's graphite. Graphite is made up of layers of carbon atoms. If you take one of these layers, we can roll it up to obtain the structure of a carbon nanotube. If we take this layer and roll it along this direction, then we obtain a tube where the circumference has this zigzag shape. If we rolled a layer only half as long, we'd obtain a tube of half the diameter, but it would still have this zigzag shape because we rolled the layer in the same direction. But if we roll the layer in another direction, like here we've chosen one which looks more like an armchair, so the tube has an armchair shape along the circumference. One layer can be rolled in any direction, and that defines the final shape and the size of the tube. The way you roll the tube is important, because this determines its electronic properties. All this rolling up of graphene layers was only a representation. Nanotubes do not form by rolling up graphene layers in reality. Another important characteristic of the tube is how many layers they have. Up until now I have only talked about one layer. These are called single-walled nanotubes. But there are also tubes with two layers, double-walled nanotubes, three layers, triple-walled nanotubes, and many layers, multi-walled nanotubes. In any case, all of them consist of concentric cylinders. To finish, I'm going to show you what they look like to the naked eye. They look a bit like fine black soot, very, very light. Remember that they are hollow cylinders made of carbon, so their density is very low.